x raised to the power 6 is equal to 7 raised to the power 6. Find all values of x. Usually, the highest power of x determines the total number of solutions we are expecting from this problem. Since we have 6, we are expected to get 6 solutions. So I'm going to rewrite this equation as x raised to the power 6 minus 7 raised to the power 6 is equal to 0. I can rewrite this as x raised to the power 3 raised to the power 2 minus 7 raised to the power 3 raised to the power 2 is equal to 0. If I represent each of these with a different letter, x raised to the power 3, let's represent this with p and represent 7 raised to the power 3 with q, then we are going to have p squared minus q squared is equal to 0. This is difference of two squares and we can express this as p minus q into brackets p plus q. I introduced p and q to make the expression look easy, but if I return x raised to the power 3 for p and 7 raised to the power 3 for q, this is what the equation will look like. We would have x raised to the power 3 minus 7 raised to the power 3 times x raised to the power 3 plus 7 raised to the power 3 is equal to 0. This implies x raised to the power 3 minus 7 raised to the power 3 is equal to 0 or x raised to the power 3 plus 7 raised to the power 3 is equal to 0. I will treat these two new equations separately. Let's call this first equation case 1. So for this first case, this is difference of two cubes. And if you consider a raised to power 3 minus b raised to power 3, to factorize this, you have a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b squared. This will imply that x raised to power 3 minus 7 raised to the power 3 is equal to x minus 7 into bracket this will be x squared plus 7x then plus 7 squared and remember this is equal to 0 so we equate this to 0 so we have x minus 7 times x squared plus 7x plus 49 is equal to 0. So x minus 7 is equal to 0 or x squared x squared plus 7x plus 49 is equal to 0. From x minus 7 equals to 0, we can solve for x to get 7, which is our very first solution to this problem. We call it x1. So this is solved. Now let us solve this. The second equation is a quadratic equation. And it is of the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals to 0. a is going to be the coefficient of x squared, which is 1, and b is 7, and c is 49. To solve for x, we are going to use the formula minus b plus minus 
b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So x is equal to minus 7 plus or minus the square root of b squared will be 7 squared then minus 4 times 1 times 49 then divided by 2 times 1. So x is equal to minus 7 plus or minus the square root of 49 minus, this is 4 times 49. Over 2. So x is equal to minus 7 plus or minus 49 is common here, so I'll say 49 into, this will be 1 minus 4, and then divide it by 2. So x is equal to minus 7 plus or minus the square root of, this is 49 times negative 3. over 2. I will use source to separate this. So I have x is equal to minus 7 plus or minus, this will be square root of 49 times square root of negative 3 divided by 2. x is equal to minus 7 plus or minus Square root of 49 is 7. Square root of negative 3 is the same thing as saying square root of 3 times square root of minus 1. So minus square root of minus 1 is i. Then times square root of 3 will be square root of 3i. So this will be 7 root 3i. then divide it by 2. We can separate this plus or minus into individual solutions. So we say this will now be x2. We have minus 7 plus 7 root 3i over 2. And x3 is going to be minus 7 minus 7 root 3 i over 2. So of the six solutions we are expecting to get from this problem, we have now found three. Let's proceed back to case 2. Remember here we said x raised to power 3 minus 7 raised to power 3 is our case 1. So this will be our case 2. So case 2 is addition of two cubes and by identity given a raised to power 3 plus b raised to power 3 you can factorize this as a plus b times a squared minus ab plus b squared. So x raised to power 3 plus 7 raised to power 3 is going to be x plus 7 times x squared minus 7x plus 7 squared. And remember this is equal to 0. So we have x plus 7 into bracket x squared minus 7x plus 7 squared here is 49 equal to 0. So this means x plus 7 is equal to 0 or x squared minus 7x 
plus 49 is equal to 0. From the first case here, we can solve to get x equal to negative 7. This is going to be our x4. So we have two more solutions to find. And we're going to get those from this last equation. So the equation is a quadratic equation. x squared minus 7x plus 49 is equal to 0. Comparing with the standard quadratic equation, we can see from here that a is 1 b is negative 7 and c is 49. We are going to use quadratic equation, the quadratic formula again to solve for x. So x is going to be minus b which is minus minus 7 plus or minus the square root of b squared will be negative 7 squared minus 4 times 1 times 49 square root of all of that then divided by 2 times 1 so x is equal to minus times minus here is plus so we have 7 plus or minus the square root this will be 49 minus this is 4 times 49 then divided by 2 so x is equal to 7 plus or minus 49 into this will be 1 minus 4 divided by 2. Simplifying this further gives us x is equal to 7 plus or minus this would then be square root of 49 times negative 3 divided by 2. So x is equal to 7 plus or minus, I'm going to separate this like we did earlier, square root of 49 times square root of negative 3 over 2. This is similar to what we did earlier. So this is x equal to 7 plus or minus, this will be 7 and then root 3 i because of this negative then divided by 2. We can go ahead and separate to get the last two solutions from this problem. So this is going to be x5 is equal to 7 plus 7 root 3 i over 2 and then the final pro solution will be x6 that will be 7 minus 7 root 3i over 2 so this is how to solve this problem to get all the six solutions remember we got two real solutions these ones with i are complex roots This one as well, complex roots. And this one, also complex roots. And we got two real solutions, which is, which are x1 real solution and x4, which is also a real solution. So giving us two real solutions and four complex roots. If you have enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. Remember to subscribe to my channel if you are yet to do so. 
and if you have found this video helpful please share with others so they can also benefit from these steps thanks for watching see you in my next video